Hi there, product people. This is Adriana here to walk you through Product School's customer journey map template. To get started, you are going to click this button right here and you'll get access to this beautiful customer journey map template. And let's talk a little bit about what a customer journey map is. A customer journey map is a visual tool that maps out customer touch points across channels and over time. And it's a really helpful way to detach yourself from what you know about your product as a product manager and think about it from a user's perspective and really get into their shoes. And the first thing you're going to do in the template is you're going to give context to the map you'll build out. First, you'll define the stage. So is this a currently existing journey or a potential future one? If it's currently existing, you probably have a lot of rich data on, on user behavior that you can use to build out the map. If it's a potential future one, you are uh, assuming what the customer journey map will be, and you can actually use this as a baseline once you have more information on actual user behavior and compare it to what you, you thought it would be. Are customers taking the actions at the touch points that you thought they would? Why or why not? Next, you're going to identify the customer persona. The customer persona is beyond the scope of this particular template, but we do actually have a separate customer persona template that you can check out if you would like. And next, the scope and time frame. So some customer journey maps are very broad. They'll, they'll take you from the user's first interaction with a product or a business up until purchase or even beyond. And some are much more specific. They'll zoom into a specific stage or process. And so you'll want to decide what kind of, of map you're trying to build out. And then you will identify what all of your touch points are. And at each of these touch points, what are the user action, thoughts, and feelings? And then you'll really get to the meat of the customer journey map, which is the pain points and the opportunities. So using all of this information above, you will decide what actions you can take to improve the user experience. You'll end up with something like this. And as you can see, the steps and the touch points, all of this information, and then the pain points and the, and the opportunities. And you want to write it out first so you make sure you get all of the information. And the last step is to put it into the visual tool. So you can see this is a very specific case of, of registration and first action with a rideshare app. So this is the first part of that, the registration, and this is the calling. And then underneath you have the gain points and the pain points. Yeah, and so it's a very clear visual of where the user is in the process and what we can do to make it a better experience. Okay, and that's it. If you have any questions, you can head over to our community and ask them there. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like more information on customer journey maps, you can find it on the Product School website or the YouTube channel. Thank you.